Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 27 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to trace images, uh, how to auto trace images inside of Illustrator. So in order to auto trace an image, what you can do is you can simply go to file and then import a picture, a regular picture in JPEG. So I'm just going to go to file and place the image and I just downloaded this uh, um, uh, this picture of a cartoon character that we have so I'm just going to import that out so you can see that if I were to really zoom in this is actually a pixelated gra graphics it's a raster graphics it may have been designed in vector it looks like a vector but it has been converted into raster so what we can do is we can actually use the trick called image trace so you can see that once I select this the image trace is there by um, automatically and once I click that you can see that this now actually just got converted into vector graphics so if I were to zoom it really hard now you can see that this has been converted into vector graphics so this only works with very very clear images uh, mind that so now if I were to expand this uh, and press ok and ungroup it a few times I can actually uh, move around the parts as I would with a regular uh, vector graphics as you can see so this is how uh, expanding objects actually work inside of Illustrator so let me just press control back uh, control Z over here so let me just press Ctrl Z and you can see that well I traced the image it actually just did a black and white image of it so it only did a black and white. So what I can do is in, I can go inside image trace you can see that there's high fidelity, low fidelity, three colors and so forth. So if I were to go for technical drawing uh, over here it only brings out the outline, outlines which is not necessary over here it does not give a good result. So if I were to go for line art over here uh, then it actually brings out the line art out of it. So just there you, you can see just the line art there. And if I were to go to shades of gray, then it actually converts this into a grayscale image and this actually is a vector graphics. And if I want to, let's say, trace it into a color, I want to do a high fidelity photo. So now once I do that, it actually uh, takes what the, the colors are in there and if I were to zoom in you can see that the colors is there The image is not perfect. You can still see the artifact because of the pixels left out But you can this is the closest way how you can convert raster graphics into vector graphics And you can also expand this like uh, we talked about in the uh, previously and ungroup it a few times so you have to Actually expand this and ungroup it and if I were to drag out the eyes and so forth you can actually do that You can, you can even change the color of the eyes over here So if I want to change the color of the eye into a different color then I can actually do that as well So I want to apply the same color over here So let me just select the eyedropper tool and click it over here so that it cover uh, co copies the color So you can see that you can easily convert um raster graphics into vector graphics and you can also convert vector graphics into raster graphics so in order to do that just draw a few shapes just like this and select all of the shapes uh, maybe you can group it or just leave it as it is you can go to object and go to rasterize and press ok so once you do that this actually now converts uh, the vector graphics into raster graphics as you can see and now I can again use image trees to actually convert back into uh, vector graphics so I can use a high fidelity photo like I did with the previous image. So it actually initializes the um, picture over there. So let me just fast forward this and we're about to be done over there. And there you go. So now it is actually converted back into vector graphics itself. So you can change the uh, graphics back and forth from vector to raster as you go on editing. And so you can make it easier for edit and further run. So this is how you can actually auto trace images inside of Illustrator and then team and then convert uh, vector graphics into raster graphics and back and forth. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.